I'm the CEO of Hope Education Services, and I've been working with families affected by autism just like yours for more than 10 years. It's my passion to come onto this channel every week and create a free resource to make autism a little easier for you and your family to navigate. So tonight I'm going to be answering a question sent in by one of my parent viewers, and that's if my child is diagnosed with level 3 autism, can that change over time? So the autism diagnosis is set by the DSM-5, which is a diagnostic and statistical manual of the APA, the American Psychological Association, 5th edition. Now according to this edition, autism has three different levels. So when your child receives a diagnosis of autism, they'll be assigned either level 1, level 2, or level 3. So level 1 autism used to be called Asperger's disorder in the DSM-4, which is the previous edition. Now that's also sometimes called high functioning autism. So this is someone who's maybe a little bit socially awkward. They have a difficult time fitting into social situations. The symptoms are apparent. They have a hard time with friendships, but it doesn't necessarily affect their life and they don't require any support to go on and lead typical lives. Now, level two autism is someone who will require substantial support through most of their life. This is someone who can communicate, but their communication is very limited. They typically can't speak in full sentences, or require some form of alternative communication, like using an iPad device like ProLoco to go, or touch chat, or a picture system to communicate. They also tend to have stereotypy that will affect their everyday lives. That's something like fixating on, on objects like spinning wheels on cars or toy cars or lining things up. Maybe repetitive motor movements like flapping their hands or jumping up and down. That's called stereotypy. And that's typically present with someone with level 2 autism. Now someone with level 3 autism who has a very difficult time communicating really does non-vocal. This is also called low functioning autism. And this person will need a lot more support for the rest of their life. Now I can't imagine as a parent what it's like to hear that your child has autism, never mind to hear that your child has level three autism. Now here's my take on why it's problematic to diagnose a child with level three autism. Typically, a child who's diagnosed with level three autism, the symptoms are apparent very early in life. And parents will take them to develop mental pediatrician or neurologist, usually before they're two. And so the diagnosis is happening very, very early. Chances are they haven't had a lot of time to receive important therapies like ABA or speech therapy to help them learn to talk. Now, if you don't know what ABA therapy is, one of the very first videos I did is called What is ABA? Make sure you go back to this channel and watch that video. It's really important your child is receiving ABA if they have a diagnosis of autism. Now, back to the topic. It was my little sidebar. Now, the problem is, right, so we're talking about the kids getting diagnosed at such a young age, they haven't had a chance to learn yet. So they're saying, okay, well, this child has, you know, he's going to require substantial support for the rest of their life. That doesn't necessarily need to be true. Now, a child needs to have intensive services in order to improve, but I've seen a child who was diagnosed with level 3 autism at a very young age wind up changing in the level to level 2 autism, then they change to level one autism, and I've seen the autism diagnosis removed completely. I'm a big believer that children can recover from autism, and autism doesn't need to be a lifelong sentence. Now, it's important to remember that autism is a spectrum. Now, what that means is that autism is different for every person, and every person has a different ability to learn and to grow and to change, but certainly children can learn to require skills. Now, if level three autism means that your child is not able to communicate, one once they learn to talk, and that's the goal of any ABA program, that's my goal for every student that I work with, their diagnosis will then change to a level 2 autism. And my hope is that your child's, your child's diagnosis is removed completely with all the intervention and the services that you're receiving for your child. So I want you to hang on in there as a parent. Know that, okay, yes, your child is level 3 autism now. It doesn't have to be that way for the rest of their life. You know, my prayers are with your family, and I want to do everything I possibly can to help you. So on that note, you know, subscribe to this channel. I put out videos every week and I really want to answer your questions. So if you have a question that you want to send to me, email me. My email is jessica at jessicalikewise.com. I would also love to give your family a free ebook. If you go to my website, hopeeducationservices.com, under free resources, I have five different books listed. Pick one out, put your email in, and I will email to you. 
I will see you next week. Until then, make it a great week, and I hope you go back and take a look at some of the other videos. Take care.